Hi there. Here's a demo of using white feet tools to add a value to mounting height. The data devices, or actually any face-based family in Revit, knows what its elevation is, and you can see it in the properties of the object, right over here, for example. Uh, but you can't actually schedule that. If I edit the schedule here, I can't, I can't add elevation as a valid field. I can put mounting level and I can create my own parameter for it. So this happens to be a shared parameter. <clears throat> so what's interesting about white feet tools to me is that there's uh, cool stuff lurking in here. Uh, you can refer back to my blog for how to download and get your get your hands on them. But he's got a tool in Mario. Happened to make these uh, Mario Goodman. Uh, parameter tools is the one I'm looking at in this case and uh, it's kind of daunting when you look at it but there's a an option for math calculations here and what's neat about this is I can apply my actions to a specific category and some pre-selection elements or just all of them in the model in this case I can say the parameter name I'm interested in is elevation and I know it's there it's in the family and in the instance properties and the one I'm interested in assigning elevation to is my shared parameter called mounting height. And in this case, it's implying that I could do a variety of math operations with a, with a couple of uh, parameters or more than one, obviously here. Uh, but in this case, I'm just I'm just going to effectively make this and that equal, and I just leave all these things alone. And when I click process elements, it does it doesn't really give me any confirmation that I have until I close these guys and the values show up. So this one is 2 and this one is 3 and this one is 1 foot 6 and this one is 4. <coughs> so very easy to push a value that we know is in the object that we can't schedule into a shared parameter in the schedule. Because it's a shared parameter means I could potentially put, in a, put it in a tag and tag the object with it once the field actually has something in it. Pretty interesting use of a tool. Uh, there's a lot more. I mean, all you got to do is look at the names here to see that there's more lurking. Uh, but I thought that would be interesting for now. Hope you like it.